Hey there folks, Armageddon here, bringing you another Transformers video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Deluxe Class Laserback, who is a Predacon. If anybody knows anything about old Transformers, you know the Predacons were from Beast Wars. They were the, the Decepticons of the Beast Wars. Now, interesting, Beast Hunters, Beast Wars, we get animals... Uh, things like that. Don't know how that's going to tie in. Pretty interested because Beast Wars, to this day, one of my favorite, probably still my favorite Transformers series of all time. Take a look at the box here. Regular product shots, Dragon Mode, Robot Mode, Toxic Strike Blaster, fires two missiles and tail becomes a whip. Yes, it does. Transformers Prime, regular cast, also available. Got all of them, but Soundwave didn't much like the way he looked. Front of the box, Laserback and Predator King. Looks pretty cool. This package is very wide. I do kind of like that. There's your tech specs. He's not very impressive, but oh well. Let's get that out of here and look at Laserback, who this is a very interesting color style. Um, I'm not 100% crazy about it. It's very bright. It looks like a crayon box full of colors you got your bright reds and your purples and your yellows uh do have a cool predacon symbol right here it's like a let me see if i can get the box back in here yeah it looks really cool i do like the way that's not what the predacon symbol looked like in beast wars but close enough i guess maybe who knows what these are going to look like uh don't know much about laser back here although just like with the other figures, uh, even though the boxes only have one-line descriptions of them, if you open up the instructions, they give a little more side story to them. So it's kind of cool. I won't go into that. I'll let people discover that on their own. As for this guy, he, th this this row of alt mode, dragon mode, does have some pretty decent articulation. You can individually move all of the the joints and things like that. A little bit of shoulder articulation here. Uh, his mouth moves his head doesn't have a lot of play in it but you can get a little bit of movement in it his tail nothing but it removes um, one thing I do like is the weapon is in his it's it's a part of his dragon mode so I do like that that's pretty cool it just slides back in there uh, overall I do tend to like to keep this guy in dragon mode I think he looks a little bit better than the robot mode you can see his robot mode hands here uh, but that's about it. Let's go ahead and get to the transformations. It's a fairly simple transformation. Uh, it's a lot like Beast Wars transformations. Just kind of stand him up. Let's remove his tail. It just slides down. And let's go ahead and take his weapon off too. Just for the hell of it. Now, I don't know if this is a part with all the figures or just mine. But this piece right here with his head keeps coming off. It does just pig back in there. But it is pretty annoying. Now we're going to take his hands here and slide them out. Just like so. Leave that like that. And drop his hand all the way over my floor. They just peg. They just peg on just like this. Just a little joint like that. And you have to be really careful. The same for this arm. Slide it back. And rotate his arm. And there we have that. Now, we separate him at the chest. Fold this little crotch piece down and put his dragon head down in his chest and it will sometimes not be 100 percent cooperative slide this back slide his little wing sections back come on head slide this section back up fix everything here and I like to put his tail back on but that's kind of personal preference I'll leave it off for now and his weapon you have a couple different options you can do with it you can it does fire really good you can if you can get a hold of it let's see if we can stab it and get it out there a little bit easier there we go there's a couple options you can leave his weapon you can take it here on his back and plug it back in and have it just kind of instructions say you can leave it like that that looks kind of stupid um, or you can obviously leave it just back into his back the whole way uh, or you can take it off and have him hold it like a gun but that looks pretty stupid um, 
There's also something pretty interesting with the weapon. It can actually split apart here and open up. Why it does that, I don't know. Maybe I should read the instructions a little more. I don't know if they tell it or not. I don't like to read instructions. I'll figure it out. Uh, so we'll just keep this back here because that's where I want it. And as for his tail, he said it becomes a whip, and it does. It just kind of pegs into his hand there. That looks okay. You know, uh, after buying all of them, uh, I did kind of regret not getting Soundwave. This guy, I'm really not crazy about. He's very short. He's very just, I don't know. He, The colors and everything and the way he transforms, it's very simple. I don't like that. Uh, his weapons look pretty dumb, and I think I may have just broken that. Who knows? It sounded like something snapped. He just doesn't seem like a very well thought out transformer. Uh, I, the main reason I got him was because he's one of the new Predacons. I wanted to go ahead and have one. And, yep, I'm pretty confident I just broke the joint in there because now he won't stand up very good. Uh, and his legs, God, you know, he just looks so short, and you, you can't get him to look any, really, any better. I mean, just look at this guy. I don't much care for the way this guy looks. I'm going to keep him in dragon mode all the time. Just, he just, I don't like him. He's got an okay face. He's, his face sculpt looks okay, I guess. It's purple. Got some nice eyes, but, I mean, he's got two nice Predacon symbols here. Just the colors are too out of this world his back looks stupid unless you put his gun down and flip it back in there he's just too I don't know what the word is he's just too unorthodox he's too he's just too weird you know I'm really wishing like I said I'm wishing I had got the sound wave instead because sound wave is one of my favorite characters I didn't get him because the colors are almost as weird as this guy's uh, but at least it's a good mold. I do like the Soundwave mold, and he does come with Ravage instead of Laser Beak, so that's kind of cool. Um, this guy, just not much to say about him. I would say he's probably one of the last ones you could probably pick up in the line. He's worth passing on, like most of them are. You know, don't rush out there unless you just love the way they look. Um, scale of 1 to 10, I'm sorry, Laserback. I'm going to have to give you... I'd give him a, about a six and a half, maybe. He's not really, not really worth rushing out to get. Uh, unfortunately, I'm regretting it. But he's new, and he's got a laser on his back. But that's about it, guys. Uh, this has been Armageddon with another Transformers video review. The new Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Deluxe Class Laserback. Thanks for watching.